Aloha Pisces, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for October 2020. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, leave me a comment. All those things help my channel to grow and expand. If you'd like to leave a tip or donation or would like a private reading, that information is in the description box below. Aloha. Aloha Pisces, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for October 2020. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Um, so, you know, this is a general reading, so it'll resonate um, with some, it may not. Uh, if something isn't resonating, then check out your um, Sun and Rising, or excuse me, Moon and Rising signs. There might be more information there for you. So take what resonates and go from there. All right, we have the El Moria, which is the awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Um, I forget. One of the other signs got this card too. Um, so month of October, Pisces, you're going to be awakening to a new level within yourself. Okay, the universe is with you and for you. So really pay attention to what it is that you want to create because you're going to have this awakening power that's moving through you. The universe is absolutely intending to bless you. Um, and the card that came out from the Lemurians is healing. Okay, so Pisces, month of October is a healing journey for you. You're waking up to a new level of yourself and I feel like that this healing is not like that oh god I gotta go through all this whatever I feel like this is rest relaxation laughter joy things that make your heart sing things that make you feel beautiful inside and out um, that those around you are loving you so well that it's so healing to your heart that it wakes you up to new levels of yourself okay love loving through you love loving through the other so that um so that um the healing process can occur uh, because as you raise your vibration pisces there's not a way for those lower vibrations to stay so this is really i just hear a lot of laughter like lots of laughter lots of fun like that's what wakes you up to your next levels of consciousness and I think that's really beautiful okay first out is the moon let's get the rest of the color the colors let's get the rest of the colors the cards on the table we definitely want to make sure we use all the colors okay so oh wow No joke, you're waking up. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, wow. Great. Okay, Pisces. So, major, major changes. When this says awakening, almost all of your cards are major arcana, which means this is life-changing kind of stuff that's happening for you in the month of October and it's really beautiful it's going to heal your heart and soul so we have first out is the moon and that's clarified with the ten of wands so I feel like in the past you have had so many burdens there's been a lot of expectations on you there's been a lot of feelings of the weight of the world on your shoulders and with that being paired with the moon, I feel like you've had some illusions and fantasies around how life might be or feeling carrying burdens that aren't even yours, if that makes sense. Like, so month of October, you're really going to be healing from that and breaking through the illusion. So the moon, when this comes out, it's to pay attention to the lunar cycle. And also it does speak of illusion. It speaks of breaking through these um, illusions and thought forms that are not useful that are keeping you burdened okay and so you're going to have a victory over that you're going to break through the illusion you're going to release the um, burdens that you've been carrying because they're not yours to carry okay 
Next out is the Fool. And we have King of Wands, okay? So King of Wands is fire sign, uh, so Aries, Leo, Sag. The Fool is zero point. This is an open-ended um, leap into the void with true faith and trust. And the King of Wands is at mastery of intuition. So Pisces, your intuition is already um, heightened naturally, okay? You are really at a new beginning. All of those old burdens and things are going to wash away, and I feel like you're ready to make that leap. This is a quantum leap into the void, um, and it's for your healing and awakening, and it's to help you to get what it is that you want. I feel like some of you have been programming for things for quite some time, and because you had these burdens, many of which people placed on you that were not yours to carry, and now it's showing brand new beginning, brand new energy coming in. Next out is the world paired with the chariot, okay? So this is quite literally anything in the world that you would like to manifest, you have that ability to do that. And the chariot saying this is swift movement and progress towards what you want. Um, you have been um, going through your own transformations and this is showing just this reading is showing that judgments on your side that you're going to be released from these illusions you're going to be released from the burdens um, the world is here for you you're making this leap if you make that leap of faith pisces everything comes forward for you because next out is the sun this is the best card in the deck this is the sun is shining, the storm is over, you are receiving the gifts of your spirit, you're receiving the gifts um, physically, um, you're happy, healthy, in laughter, and then we have nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. This is your heart is full. This is you having wished upon a star and now you're receiving it, okay? So Pisces, this is beautiful. Whatever it is, the wish that's been in your heart, the thing that you've been dreaming about, the thing that you've been working towards that just hasn't quite opened up yet. Um, I do feel like for some of you, this is business, okay? And so um, the thing that you want it to bring into creation, now there's gonna be movement towards that. Like um, there might have been, because the last card's judgment, okay? Um, yeah, and King of Pentacles is under it. So so the judgment's on your side for if you're starting a new business. This is saying if there's been some delays legally or otherwise, that um, those uh, delays, all of that's healing. For others of you, I feel like some of you are going to be entering into or um, renewing a relationship. Um, and it's going to be very healing for your heart. Like the two of you together, it's a wish fulfilled. I feel like with these these last cards here, the Sun and Nine of Cup, I feel like you've been praying for this person, you've been wanting um, to have this partner, and it's like this perfect partner is in your life and it's going to help you to heal your heart and your soul. Um, this is very beautiful energy. Um, it's truly anything that you'd like to manifest. So whether that be um, more spiritual um, information, whether that be a relationship, whether that be a new um, business, uh, anything that you've been desiring. Some of you um, may be having um, children, you know, because uh, 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 a healing is occurring. So whatever it is that felt out of balance or felt like you couldn't achieve or um, you felt hopeless about all of those burdens and things those illusions are going to the wayside and now you're having this whole paradigm shift it's like it's like things that you told yourself you didn't want anymore because it hurt too bad that it, it wasn't coming to fruition yet you're gonna be re-sparking those dreams and all of it's now coming into physical manifestation, okay? And um, 
it's really beautiful because I feel like it's going to awaken you to new frequencies in yourself. And those frequencies are those of joy, of laughter, of love, of peace. Um, because there's so much new that's coming in. So um, really focus month of October, Pisces, on what it is that you want, what you truly, truly want, because your wish um, is coming to fruition by the end of the month. And Spirit wants to remind you that it's very healing for you to receive the desires of your heart, okay? Um, the energy of longing and wanting and um, and desiring has this sort of um, pooling effect, okay? Where once you've received that, it exudes from you the happiness and the joy. And so just you receiving your long-awaited wishes helps to give other people the permission to receive their wishes too, okay? And so it is good for you to get your desires met, okay? I know that you're very giving Pisces and you give to other people. Um, and this is showing that now you get to receive the desires of your heart and that actually does serve others. Okay, and we have Unbound. This is the advice from Spirit. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Okay, and that goes, that's the reminder with the Ten of Wands, that that's healing. This month you're going to be releasing any of those contracts that would keep you from your um, wish fulfillment, would keep you from the sun shining, okay? And this is going to happen naturally because it's, it's very quickly that it, I feel like you're going to have a aha moment, okay? And it's like, whew, okay, all of those negative patterns and things, those will just fall um, to the wayside because you don't need them anymore. So they can't live in your energy because you've changed to a different frequency. So it's like a radio dial. Um, I think you'll just have the aha moment and move to a different channel, <laughs> okay? Um, because that channel with all the reverb and the negative kind of things, that, that hasn't been working for you. And moving to the channel of abundance and love and fulfillment and joy and ease um, that's going to be very healing and awakening to your soul. Okay, so thank you so much, Pisces. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. This is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to hear from you what beautiful things have um, come in in the month of October because it, this is life changing and beautifully healing stuff. Like, it's just, I feel like the warm fuzzies in my heart. Okay, so thank you so much. Love you guys, and until next time, aloha.